Good morning. It's coming up to seven o'clock on Sunday morning. Every morning I've looked outside for the last few days and it's been a lovely red pink sky. So I thought I'll make an effort today and I'll get up and come out so that I can try and see if I can take a picture of some of that. And it's absolutely throwing it down with rain. But I don't think there's gonna be an interesting sky this morning. <laughs> so it's law, but hey, you gotta be you gotta try it sometimes, haven't you? But once I was up, might as well get out. So let's see how we go. Street lighting there, you can see where you're going. No street lighting here, into the unknown. Interestingly, I've walked a little bit further and they're doing some burning of wood here. Yeah. Yeah, I've spotted some little fires. Presumably that means there's people around to manage them, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be in any danger of a sunrise this morning. Still throwing it down. We're about 40 minutes away from sunrise anyway. So it's probably getting a little bit lighter, but this is not going to be a sunrise day, I'm afraid. All right, here's where we want to go. Whilst this screen makes it look quite light, it isn't that light yet. I can't see a great deal, so I might wait for it to get a bit lighter before I head in there. So I might just go up the track. All right, so here's another way in, but it's wet, it's a bit chilly. And if I go in there too early, I'm just gonna be hanging around, uh, just waiting around, sitting around. I'm gonna get cold. Um, so I might walk around and have a look. I don't know what to do. I'll probably arrive a bit early. That's probably ultimately what I've done. Um, but I might have a little wander around, see what I can see in other areas because I'm getting an idea of what I might be able to take a picture of it. I think it's just so bloody wet. I don't know what it's going to turn out like or how light it's going to get. This might be it. Who knows? But I doubt it. What I'm hoping for is that this rain suddenly stops and there's a break and the sun comes up and it's beautiful colours. That'd be really nice. But that's not going to happen. So uh need to find something else to do. I want to come back with a picture so we'll see what we can find. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna take the hat off because it's not actually that cold. Um, I'm gonna take the hat off, I think. Um, so I found the entrance, the last footpath into the um, area that I wanna go in. So I'm just gonna go in there because it allows me to walk in there. And I'm looking at a direction that I probably want to take pictures of, uh, or the direction that I probably want to take pictures in. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I guess, when you come out to try and get amazing colours and something which is really eye-catching in that respect and you don't get it, then what are you left with? So when there is rain and darkness, then there might be mood and drama. And that's what I'm going to be trying to get um, without getting too much rain on my lens, which is the other problem, of course. So normally I'd walk around with my camera in my hand I'm not doing that at the moment. Um, my hands are cold. I'm wearing woolen gloves, which are wet, which is making them colder. <laughs> so lots of rookie errors here. Um, so I'm going to walk in that way and see how we go. I mean, I think it's starting to get lighter, but it's really hard to tell because it's so thick with um, cloud that uh, it's just gonna, I think it's just going to be dark anyway, which makes me wish I wish I brought my dry, tripod with me uh, because it's going to be tricky to get handheld shots, I think, in these conditions. Um, uh, but I'm out and about uh, uh, and I still feel positive. This is squelch, squelch, squelch. This is, we're going in. So I've changed my mind on the hat situation. Uh, I put it on my head because that seems like a sensible place to try and carry it around um, otherwise I've got to hold it or put it in my bag which hasn't got any room um, so top tip if you're struggling for a place to put your hat when you're out and about put it on your head so the first thing I notice is these 
these big these trees here i don't know if you can tell very much it's like a little splattering of color uh, and because it's raining <clears throat> it just is meaning that color is a little bit more saturated than it would be if it was drier so that's what i'm going to try and get i think uh it's this one over here so there's a little slot there and again i don't think it really comes out very much but i quite like it um and i think i'm gonna go and see if i can find an angle to try and take a picture of that it is a bit brighter now but it's not that bright so what i'm finding is that when i'm like trying to line up to take a picture <clears throat> it's really hard to do it handheld and all I've got with me is a tiny, tiny tripod. Um, it's kind of like a handheld tripod that you just, you know, for a tabletop more than it is to put on the floor. Um, so I might try and manufacture some kind of situation because I could really do with a lower shutter speed. But I don't think I can handhold that. I might be able to, but it's just going to be shaky. I'm going to be a bit pissed off with myself. Um, so I think that's what I might have a go at. Um, to find a subject which i think i have up here i'll show you i'll show you so this tree here looks really nice now a lot of it goes up into the sky and i don't like that i kind of want to get a crop of it so i'll try and do that maybe with the small tripod and see see what happens um so behind me just above my head is a tree that I took a picture of the other day and I was really pleased with it. Um, and I got a little branch in the way, um, which I wasn't that happy about, which is kind of why I returned to this area actually, because I thought I'll try and get that picture again if the conditions are right. So I'm going hand handheld and I'm whacking up the ISO um, to try and compensate, which I don't really want, but you know, we are where we are. This is not the most successful trip I've ever had. Whoa, 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 blue sky, man. So good news, it's sort of stopped raining and the next bit of good news is that it's a little bit lighter, which means that I don't have to put the shutter speed down quite as much, I don't think. Right, this is the scene I'm trying to capture. It's quite pretty. Um, this is the one I caught the other day and I'm trying to get rid of these um, branches up here. So I'm just trying to retake a picture really. Um, let's see how we go. Oh, there. rush um i've been around taking a few pictures the sun's come up now i think or oh, sun's coming up it's rain stops the sky's clearing um but one thing has made me realize is like i don't really know completely how to take advantage of it but that's kind of why i'm here i wanted to see if i can get some pictures obviously but also if this is my local area i can try and figure out well what happens at sunrise where does the sun come up um, what does that look like from different directions? Um, the sun's going to rise again tomorrow, so if I don't get anything today, then I can always uh, come again another day and see, because it's not that far. It didn't take that much organisation. It's not like I've got to go to Greenland or something like that, where it really, really matters that you do your preparation in advance. I can come here, see what it's like, and try again another day. Um, so... I'm going to run around trying to get some more pictures uh, so as I can see what I can learn uh, about here so as I can come back. I think I've got a few more pictures, a few more angles because the light's changing all the time. So, um, but until I, until I get them home and see what they look like, um, I won't know how good they are or if they're good at all. But the point is I try to get them. Uh, if there's any good ones, I'll make sure I show them in this video. All right, I can hear voices and woofing, so um, I'm gonna put this away because I feel a bit self-conscious. The sun's coming up now, and it's just lighting everything up really nicely. It's really beautiful around here, um, and I'm glad I kind of persevered in the bloody weather. Um, can hear more voices. Good thing about making a YouTube video when you're standing way off path in the middle of long grass is no one's really going to come that near. So 
and even if they do see you they might not be able to hear you so if you're a bit self-conscious about doing these kind of videos then there's another top tip for you okay until i make another one of these farewell <laughs>